today I want to talk about my journey into the blockchain space. Uh, why did I fall in love with blockchain in the first place? Why did I decide to build a career out of it? And how did I become a dev role for Elgrand? Let's rewind five years to 2018 where it all began. The year was 2018, right after the Bitcoin craze in 2017 that led to global interest in Bitcoin and its underlying technology, blockchain. At the time, I was an economics major at UC Berkeley, and for some reason, I guess people thought I would know whether Bitcoin was a good investment or not. But, you know, me not knowing anything about Bitcoin, except the fact that the price tanked 50% yesterday, would tell people, yeah, that's 100% a scam. And I never looked back until 2019 when everything changed. A close friend of mine invited me to go to the Asian Leadership Conference. And for some reason, blockchain was one of seven major topics of the conference. I mean, at this point, I had to learn what this blockchain thing was all about. It's gotta mean something if it's one of the main topics of such a conference, right? So I walked into a conference room not knowing that the 30 minute was going to completely change my future. It was a presentation from CC, CEO of Binance, and he stated that blockchain will disrupt many industries in the coming future. It was a bold claim, but I was intrigued. So I started diving into blockchain and the more I learned, the more I got excited about the technology. You know, there are many reasons why I'm excited about blockchain, but to name one, I think it's the ability to apply value to digital things. We all know that digital data can be copied and pasted and even modified whenever the owner of the data wants to. So nothing digital had real value attached to them. It just wasn't possible. But now since blockchain ensures that a piece of data is real and unmodified, we can now apply value to data and create the next internet that natively support transfer of value. And this is now being called Web 3.0. I can go on forever on why I like blockchain, but you know, I started to wonder, how does this actually work? So I started diving into the rabbit hole and ended up deciding to learn programming. I asked my friend in robotics what programming language I should start with, and he recommended JavaScript, which by luck, was very similar to Solidity, a smart contract language for EVM chains like Ethereum. I still remember the excitement I felt successfully sending ETH to my first payment smart contract with Solidity, and just like that, I fell in love with programming. A shift towards becoming a software engineer began relatively late compared to those super geniuses who built their first game when they were in like middle school. So I had a lot of catching up to do. This is when it became super clear to me that becoming a Web3 developer was in my best interest. And I think there are three reasons why I thought becoming a Web3 developer was in my best interest. First, after spending about two years learning about blockchain, I was quite certain about a successful future. But no one was learning Web3 development at the time. And as a non-CS major, I knew this would give me a huge competitive advantage against other developers. Second, the demand for blockchain developers was skyrocketing, but the number of blockchain savvy developers were close to none. Ever since my passion for acting and stage performance in high school, I always wanted to stand out. And I just didn't want to become an average software engineer that could be replaced by anyone at any time. This was my niche. And lastly, for the first time, I found a passion that I can make a career out of. You know, we spend the majority of the time here on Earth working, and I wanted to be in a field where I truly enjoy being in. And blockchain is that field. But my honeymoon phase with blockchain soon came to an end. It was 2021, and the blockchain promises that got me into this field was nowhere close to being achieved. The most popular smart contract blockchain was too slow and expensive for average users. No real world use cases were popping up. There were hundreds of blockchains full of promises, but no delivery. And the industry was polluted with scams and rug pulls that even turned me off about blockchain. Suddenly the blockchain utopia I dreamed of seemed utterly impossible to become a reality. In May 2021, it was my last summer before becoming a senior in college and I was looking for an internship. Disappointed but determined, I looked for an internship within the blockchain industry. At the time, I was a member of Blockchain at Berkeley, and we were working with Algorand to provide blockchain courses for Berkeley students. 
and I saw that Algren was hiring for a technical product management intern, so I applied and I got the internship. However, I went into the internship with skepticism about the protocol. I mean, Algren was claiming to have solved the blockchain trilemma, and I was thinking, psh, yeah, right. I expected lies and false claims, and I was out for blood. I even read somewhere that crypto and Algren could be frozen by the creator. I mean, that goes against the whole reason for blockchain. Not acceptable, I thought. So I used my internship as an opportunity to directly ask the core developers and the developer relations team about the Algren blockchain and its protocol design. But guess what? It, it actually wasn't bad. It actually solved the blockchain trilemma like it claims with pure proof of stake. It was actually fast and cheap while being decentralized enough to secure the network. It actually never had an outage and it stands till today. I was shocked by how superior the technology was. I think it was that summer when my blockchain passion came back to life, along with my hope for a blockchain future. At the end of my internship, I got a full-time return offer and I was more than happy to accept because now I had a full confidence in the algorithm technology and I wanted to be a part of its journey. One year later, it's 2022, I graduated from school and I started working full-time as developer relations for Algorand. Within the year I was in school, the Algorand ecosystem exploded starting from zero dApps on mainnet to hundreds of projects in the ecosystem. I was excited to help developers learn how to build on Algorand. I kickstarted my career with multiple presentations in Singapore, South Korea, and LA. And to be honest, I was having the time of my life. But I started to notice that the developer experience in Algren wasn't too great. Setting up your development environment was a nightmare, and most developers didn't care to go past this early stage obstacle. Also, there weren't a lot of resources developers could reference while learning, and overall, it was just too hard to learn. But things started to change. AlgoKit launched in Q1 of 2023, and it completely removed the development environment setup hassle. Now all you need to do is install AlgoKit and it handles the rest for you. AlgoKit also comes with a series of templates that developers can use to bootstrap their development. And it also provides several utility frameworks to make smart contract interactions super simple to do. What's crazy is that AlgoKit is only at version one right now. And with AlgoKit V2, it's going to revolutionize the developer experience on Algorand even more. And it doesn't end there. We launched the developer focused YouTube channel in March of 2023, and we already have over 150 videos covering the ins and outs of Algorand development. Now with that flow, Algorand developers get a remix-like experience where they can deploy and interact with smart contracts using a web interface. Now we have TealScript, a new Algorand smart contract language that is almost identical to TypeScript. And on top of that, Algorand also recently announced a new Python native smart contract language on Algorand. So what does this mean? It means that Python or TypeScript developers don't need to learn a completely new language to write smart contracts on Algorand. 2023 is the year of the devs for Algorand. And within the last couple months, the developer experience has been completely overhauled. Now, yes, I know I work for Algorand and my words may not mean much to you. But before I'm an Algorand dev role, I'm a blockchain enthusiast who wants this technology to succeed and head to the right path in the future. I have immense respect for other blockchain protocols out there that are working tirelessly every day to solve real world problems. But after five years of being in this space and spending the last two years mastering the Algorand protocol, I feel confident to say that Algorand is ready for all types of Web2 or Web3 developers to just dive in and start building on the Algorand blockchain. And if you're worried that you will run into issues and get stuck while learning, me and the developer relations team are always present on Discord to answer your questions. And we have a great developer community that is always willing to help each other out. So don't worry if you think you'll get stuck on the way, we got you. It's 2023 and I could not be happier about where I am right now. You know, I'm working in the industry that I've wanted to since 2019. I'm working on a blockchain protocol that has a bright future. And I get to make videos like this to help developers enter the Web3 space and become a blockchain developer just like me. If you're debating whether you should commit your valuable time to learning blockchain development, I say go for it. But I'll say this. 
this isn't for everyone. The industry is just starting off and we're at the frontier of innovation. This is exciting, but also very scary. But if you have looked into blockchain yourself and find yourself excited about the technology, today is the best day to get started. That is my story of how I got into the blockchain space and how I ended up working as DevRel for Algorand. Thank you for listening to my story, and I hope my story has inspired you to at least take a look at the blockchain technology and see if this career path is the right fit for you. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.